What's poppin', my lyrical heads? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you at. I hope you Gucci. Now go down there, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Do that for your mans. It's greatly appreciated. So definitely go do that. Also, just a reminder, go check out my other channel, Lyrical Minds. It's when I interview some of the dopest independent artists around the country. I'm actually thinking about hitting up Ren and seeing does he want to hop on the channel and do an interview. So fingers crossed on that one. I'll let y'all know how that process goes. But um, enough of that. We know why we're here. We're here for the reaction. And today we're pretty much going to get into this Ren featuring um, Chinchilla chalk lines the live version someone tell, told me to listen to the live version so i'm definitely going to listen to it i'm going to get into it and see what the whole hype is but uh less of me more ren and chinchilla so let's get into it I'm just going to say, Ren be in the most weird places to me. He's like in some weird hallways, in a weird hospital, in a parking garage, subway. He's, he's in the most weird places for me. And that was suspect as hell walking down that thing. And the light bulb kind of made me jump a little bit. I hope y'all didn't see that on camera, but it made, a little, made me jump a little bit. But uh, let's get back into it. chalk outline that's that's deep right there that's real deep walking around feeling dead inside come on Ren. come on Ren. you you talking now you real talking um i know my brother mentioned this last video in um well, i'm having a brain fart anyways in my last video it, it will come to me during this conversation but Last video, he was talking about the acoustics. Oh, it was the Jenny Screech and uh, Violet trilogy. And we were talking about how, like, Ren uses his area, especially for these live things, uses the area around him for acoustics. So he can do a lot with his voice. Like, when he was singing that, you can hear a slight echo. And I'm assuming that's just because he's in a somewhat confined space in a hallway with bricks and all this other stuff. And to me, it's dope that he uses the area for, it's like for music. It's like a musical genius right there. Just doing that. But let's get back to it. So it goes, let it be in the gallows, balanced on my toes. So I, Oh my, my, oh my, my, we 
I'm saying Ren doesn't have the most impressive singing voice, but my man can definitely still still get his point across and like still hit them certain notes and make you feel what he's trying to portray for you to feel and feel that pain, that aggression, that whatever energy he's trying to portray to you. You know what I'm saying? It's something he does like spectacularly. Sertraline and the sip of serotonin Don't cry cause there's a pill for everything Take this one, wash it down gonna say they harmonize beautifully like they are a match in heaven when it comes to their voices and like it sounds like she get, she low-key got a powerful voice too you know what i'm saying but she's really not showing that range but like they harmonize really well i bury myself with a great big smile oh mama oh mama we trace ourselves in these Get up being okay, cause all things change, all things change. It's such a perfect day, it's a beautiful shame, it's a beautiful shame. I'm scared of being okay, cause all things change. But little by little, bit by bit. I'll push it back down with a new habit If not for long, just for a while I'll bury myself with a great big smile Oh mama, oh mama We trace ourselves in these chalk outlines Oh mama, oh mama That was deep. That's a real deep song. You know what I'm saying? And like she she was chinchilla. This is my first time listening to her, and like she can sing. And at the end, you can hear her ranges and different pitches in uh in her voice and her she showing her range what she can do and that is crazy but i i I am a fan of her now you know what i'm saying and someone else told me to go check out another song they did i think it's how to be and they also said watch that live so that's another reaction we're gonna do so definitely look forward to that but um let me know how y'all think about the song. What what are your thoughts about the song? What do you think that song means to you? Because how I look at songs is everyone has a different perspective on how songs are perceived to them. Uh, people can see it in a, or hear it in a different way or sometimes imagery see it in a different way. 
So definitely tell me all what y'all think about the song down there and down there in, in the uh, comment sections. But I'm going to get up out of here. Just a reminder, go check out my other channel, Lyrical Minds. I told you to interview some of the dopest independent artists around the country. I actually got a video dropping today. So definitely go check that video out. It's uh, a guy named The Jones and like he's a hella dope artist. Um, kind of a mixture of like King ISO. If y'all know who he is, it's, it's kind of like a tech nine stylish y'all should know who tech nine is but tech nine stylish type of music hella dope artist excuse me so definitely go check that out but like i'm saying i'm gonna get out of here so deuces